On Thursday, August 12th, WeTV premiered The Mysterious Death of Easy e a compelling four-part limited series that delves into the enigmatic circumstances surrounding the death of the iconic rapper Eric Wright, better known as Easy e This series, meticulously guided by Easy es daughter, Ebi, seeks to shed light on the unresolved questions that have lingered for more than 26 years since his untimely demise. In March 1995, the music world was stunned by reports that the NWA frontman had succumbed to AIDS following a month-long hospitalization at Los Angeles' Cedars-Sinai Medical Center. However, skepticism has persisted among fans and loved ones regarding the official account of his death. The series opens with the episode titled My Own Father's Death, where E.B. provides an intimate and heartfelt perspective on her father's life and legacy. She poignantly expresses her frustration over how her father's remarkable achievements in the music industry have been overshadowed by the circumstances of his death. Ebby's mission in this investigative series is clear, to uncover the truth and ensure that Easy e is remembered and honored for his groundbreaking contributions to hip hop. I feel like a lot of my father's accomplishments have been overshadowed by his death, Ebi shares in the episode, but I'm hoping that once we get to the bottom of this, he can finally be highlighted in the way he deserves. The mysterious death of Easy e not only aims to provide closure for his family, but also to reframe Easy es legacy in the public eye. It highlights his role as a pioneer in hip-hop, his influence on the genre, and the lasting impact of his work. Through interviews, archival footage, and new investigative insights, the series paints a comprehensive picture of a man whose contributions have shaped the landscape of music, but whose life was tragically cut short. In revisiting and re-examining the circumstances surrounding Easy es death, this series aspires to spark a broader conversation about the challenges and prejudices faced by individuals diagnosed with AIDS in the 1990s and the cultural and medical context of that era. By doing so, it seeks to honor Easy e not just as a musician, but as a person whose life and death have much to teach us about the complexities of the human experience. Ebby emphasizes that while the series delves into various conspiracy theories and unexplained details, it is not necessarily poised to unveil the definitive truth about her father's death. This series is a good introduction to my story, Ebby tells Billboard. She expresses a desire for the series to more fully capture her personal journey and the emotional stakes involved. A.B. points out the generational differences within her family, noting that some relatives are hesitant to challenge the fishy inconsistencies surrounding Easy es death. Despite this hesitation, A.B. remains steadfast in her determination to uncover the truth, vowing to continue her pursuit until all questions are answered. The series not only serves as an investigation into the mysteries of Easy es death, but also as a tribute to his enduring legacy. Ebby's mission is deeply personal, rooted in a desire to honor her father in a way that aligns with his values and spirit. She believes that Easy e would support her efforts to assert independence and to fight for what she believes in, just as he did throughout his life. I think that he would tell me to own everything of my own, she reflects, be independent just like he was, and stand up for what I believe in. The inclusion of various perspectives, from medical personnel to those who knew Easy e personally, enriches the narrative and underscores the complexity of the situation. The publicist from Cedar sinai offers an insider's view of the hospital environment and the events leading up to Easy es death, while the behavioral analyst provides a scientific approach to understanding the inconsistencies and potential motivations behind the various theories. B.G. Nock. Out's reflections add a personal touch, highlighting the impact Easy e had on those he mentored and worked with. Ultimately, the mysterious death of Easy e stands as a poignant exploration of loss, legacy, and the pursuit of truth. It highlights the challenges faced by Easy e during his life, the impact of his death, and the enduring questions that remain. Through Eby's eyes, viewers are invited to join a deeply personal and emotionally charged journey, one that seeks not only to solve a mystery, but to celebrate a life that has left an indelible mark on the world of music and beyond. Actually, I didn't make that decision. It was never specifically intended to be this four-part limited series, to be honest. In this four-part series, you don't get everything. You don't get the full scope of the story, or what I've been through, or how my father's death so me delving into me. all of the viral conspiracy theories that I feel have overshadowed the truth. How did the production team decide on what would be in each part? That wasn't decided beforehand. It was more of a real-life investigation. Obviously, I have a real story, and I knew a lot of these things about my father. 
We documented a lot of what I went through and experienced, as well as my mom's story and a lot of what she saw and the court dealings that took place right after my father passed away. So there were a lot of things in real life where we were just going through the motions and we really filmed and captured everything. That was then edited down into four parts, deciding on the content of each part. The production process was more of an evolving real-life investigation rather than a pre-planned scripted series. From the beginning, I had a real story to tell, filled with personal insights and previously known facts about my father. Throughout the production, we documented my journey extensively. This included my own experiences, my mother's story, and the legal battles that ensued following my father's passing. Every step of the process was recorded, capturing the raw and unfiltered reality of what we went through. This extensive footage was then meticulously edited and condensed into four parts, reflecting on the 15-year journey. The process over the past 15 years has been incredibly challenging. Conducting extensive research on my own, especially since I was just a young girl when my father passed away, has been emotionally taxing. It's been a long journey for me and my mother, navigating life without my iconic father, who remains relevant even today. Many people don't realize the passage of time and the personal experiences we've endured. Both the mysterious death of Easy e and a ruthless scandal aren't just about my opinions. They are rooted in a genuine investigation based on real facts and conversations with numerous individuals. With a ruthless scandal, my goal was to present these facts and shed light on the truth. Whereas the mysterious death of Easy e primarily explores conspiracy theories circulating on the internet, engaging with public reception, engaging with Easy e fans. There exists a dedicated community of Easy e fans who have stayed connected with me over the years. They have eagerly anticipated the release of a comprehensive story about my father. These fans have taken it upon themselves to investigate and share their findings about his death. This kind of dedication comes from their deep love and admiration for him. On the other hand, there are many people who accept the official narrative of his death at face value, believing that he simply succumbed to the illness as reported. For these individuals, this series is crucial in conveying the message, no, not at all. We definitely believe that something more happened to him. Bridging Generations. Straight Outta Compton did an excellent job of reviving interest in NWA and bridging the gap between different generations. It brought back the legacy of NWA, connecting my father's generation with mine and introducing his story to younger audiences who might not have been familiar with the full history. However, it didn't explore the intricacies of my father's life and the suspicious circumstances surrounding his death. The Journey of Easy es Fans there is a devoted community of Easy e fans who have followed my journey over the years, eagerly awaiting a thorough account of his life and death. These superfans have gone to great lengths to conduct their own research, uncovering details and sharing their findings with me. Their dedication stems from their deep love and respect for my father. They refuse to accept the official narrative of his death and are driven by a desire to uncover the truth. However, there is also a broader audience that has accepted the mainstream account believing that my father's death was straightforward and uncontroversial. Revealing the truth. For those who believe that my father's death was a simple case of succumbing to illness, this series is an eye-opener. It challenges the accepted narrative and presents evidence that suggests there is more to the story. The series aims to shed light on the inconsistencies and suspicions surrounding his death, urging viewers to reconsider their understanding of what happened. It's a crucial step in ensuring that the world knows that we, as his family, believe there were deeper, more sinister forces at play. The impact on our lives. This journey has profoundly affected us, his family. The lingering questions and suspicions about his death have cast a long shadow over our lives. By exploring these issues in the series, we hope to bring some closure and honor my father's legacy in a way that fully acknowledges the complexities of his life and death.